let me know if this has ever happened to you. You're trying to record a video and you wanna add some live commentary, whether you're doing a reaction video or whether you're doing a gameplay video, but you can't get the audio from your voice and from what you're watching or playing to sync up. One's louder than the other and it sounds like trash. Maybe you sound like this guy. There we go. You see how awful that was? That guy, now granted, he had a great head of hair on him. He was really good at playing that video game, but the audio background was a lot louder than his voice. Now, if you couldn't tell, that guy was me. I emphasize on was me, no longer me, because I found out how to fix my audio with just one simple trick. Here it is. All right, welcome, this is Rex. I'm taking a little break from playing video games and doing my walkthroughs to take a step back to help out any other fellow gamers and any fellow content creators on trying to fix their audio. If you stuck with me through the intro, you understand what I mean by having your audio from your game and your audio from your voice not working out. So with one solution in OBS, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. To start, you wanna make sure you have OBS or open broadcaster software downloaded onto your computer. And if you don't have it, it's a free download and it's very simple to install. Just head over to obsproject.com, click your platform, today I'll be showing you Windows, and follow the steps on how to download. Once you have it installed and open and ready to go, you wanna click over on this plus sign to start a new scene. You can name your scene whatever you'd like. Today we're just gonna do gameplay demo. And you'll see it's a, it's a black screen. So what we wanna do is wanna go ahead and add a source. So you wanna go here and you wanna find your video capture device. As you can see, I've already added my Elgato HD60 game capture before, but assume that you have something different or you wanna do this for the first time, just go ahead and give it any kind of name that you want. Today, we're gonna to call it Elgato Demo. And hit okay. So go ahead and find your game capture card and hit okay. All right. So now you have your input and your video coming in, and that's through the game capture, but now you wanna add your microphone so you actually hear what you sound like over the game. So once again, just hit the plus sign, but this time we're gonna go into audio input capture, and we're gonna find our microphone, which to me is a blue Yeti X. And I'm gonna come in here and I can pick any microphone I want. I can pick my headset if I wanted, I could pick uh, microphone through the webcam if I wanted to, but I like my Yeti X. I paid for a high quality microphone and so I'm gonna use it. All right. Now you can go and you can add different kinds of audio if you wanted to, if you had a webcam that you wanted to add, if you had a camera that you wanted to link that you could also do. If you had different forms of audio, maybe you have a Discord uh, stream coming in, maybe you have Spotify that you wanna play in the background, maybe you want audio or music from you know the web, you could also play that. Add as many that are suitable for you. But for this example, we're just gonna stick with two, but the same rule can apply to anything more than two. So once you're in here, you can see that I have my Elgato demo and I've got my Blue Yeti, and they're registering both the sounds coming through. Now, if you're not seeing the same screen that I'm seeing here, you can right click on these three little dots here. You can pick vertical layout and it'll go to the horizontal. This is probably what is gonna default for you, but I like to have mine in the vertical layout because it's just a little bit easier for me to follow if I had more audio inputs. So pick any audio input and right click on the three dots. And you wanna click advanced audio properties. From here, you can see our two new inputs, the Blue Yeti X and the Elgato Demo. And all of the tracks one through six are selected. Now this means that the audio is collected on all six inputs. We don't have six inputs, but it's collected on all of them. So the audio from the game, and then the audio from my voice are all put together on the same channels and sandwiched all together. You can pay no attention to the desktop audios here or the mic here as they are not working. That is the default mic that comes out of the computer and is also the default desktop audios that come from either of my screens. But since they're not turned on and they're not added to my scene, I don't really have to worry about those. So for the Blue Yeti X and the Elgato demo, pick how you want the audio to come through. For this example, let's go ahead and take all the Elgato demo channels off except channel one. And then for the Blue Yeti, let's take it all off except for channel two. Now what this means is there are two audio feeds will come through, the Elgato will be on audio one and the Blue Yeti X, the microphone input will be on audio two. Once we hit close, 
go ahead and run an example of the game. I will show you this one and show you kind of a little live commentary on what we're doing here. All right, and I'm just gonna make Link go crazy bananas, right? I just wanted to make this loud noise. He's just gonna go crazy. I need you to hear him and I need you to hear me. Next, you'll wanna find your video where it's saved on your computer. Go ahead and open it through Windows. That way you can test the playback. All right, now as you can hear, the gameplay has come through, but my voice did it. Rex, I thought you said that the gameplay would come through and so would your audio from your voice. You lied to us. Nope, nope, I don't lie. I would never lie. Look at me. I'm not lying. Here's what happens. What happens is when the audio comes through, it gets sandwiched together. So you think of like the top layer of a sandwich. The first thing you bite into, or the first thing you hear, is the first layer of audio. The rest of it is hidden. So when you play it back on Windows, Windows isn't smart enough to know that you want it separated. So it's just playing the top layer of audio. So you have your video and you have your gameplay. And this is why we picked option one so you could see what this was. What you're gonna wanna do is open up your video recording software and import the media of the video that you just recorded. For this example, we're gonna use Premiere Pro. Next, drag your video over to the timeline. And as you can see, three lines have popped up. Now, normally you're gonna see a video and you're gonna see a corresponding audio, but because we recorded this in two different channels, there's a video and there's two different audios. So if Rex was telling the truth, which he was, there are two different audio streams that you're gonna hear. One will be the gameplay and one will be the voice. So let's go ahead and test this and listen to these over each other. All right, now I'm just gonna make a link go All right, now like the original video that I showed you, my voice is a lot lower than the gameplay is, and that is awful, and that's what we're trying to fix here. So, as you can see, since there's two different audio tracks, we can adjust the audio from each one. So if you're using Premiere Pro, go ahead and open up your audio track mixer, and then as the audio is playing, you see that your gameplay is on audio one, you can adjust the tracks here, and then your voice is in audio two, and you can adjust the tracks here. So let's just say we start the gameplay a little lower than we would, and then we would start our voice a little higher than we would. Go ahead and play it back and see how it works. Now, the beauty of when you play it back, you can adjust these sliders in real time and you can see what you want. All right, now I'm just gonna make Link go crazy bananas, right? I just wanted to make this loud noise. So as you can see, my voice is a lot higher than the volume is of the gameplay. And just keep doing this until you find the balance that you want. And that's it. That was easy. Now you have everything that you need to make the best gaming videos possible. And all it took was one free download and one simple trick. If you found value in this video, leave a comment and give me a link to the video that you created. I would love to see what you produced based on the help that I was able to provide. I've been Rex, I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you back in the games.